Hi, I'm David Creed, the writer-director of Sacrilege. A Sacrilege is about four women, a group of friends, who decide to get away from the weekend uh, in the country, where they get involved in a local pagan ritual where they are unwittingly offered up as a sacrifice for the summer solstice. My name is Mark Kenner. I am the producer on Sacrilege. To start off with a project like this that had four strong lead females, uh, that played to the younger female audience, that had lots of horror elements, especially tackling fears. That's very relatable to everybody, so uh, I, lo I love the, the fear aspect of that. So what are the influences for Sacrilege? The obvious one is The Wicker Man, one of my favourite movies. And then, in general, just the, I think, taking very British kind of horror from folklore history and stories and campfire stories and stuff like that was, was just, in general, that influence over the movie uh, was our rich history when it comes to those kind of stories uh, and just recreating that for a modern audience. There was lots of elements we wanted to put into this, like aerial drone shots, um, burning man, prosthetics, fire. Dave wanted a real dog on set. I thought, okay, let's do all of it. So, um, you know, we were working to a budget, so that was extremely challenging. But, you know, working and approaching companies here in the Southwest and coupling them with very talented people and, and for example, Dave Anders, the stuntman, he was just absolutely superb as part of the Burning Man. And normally you would bring, you know, an actor in for that role, but we thought, let's bring Dave in. He'd had some acting experience and he'd been on some huge projects. Um, so I think for me, the Burning Man was really, really challenging because we had fire, we had a big crew just for a one day shoot. We shot that after the main production in May. So we shot that in December. It was at night. Uh, we had fire, we had water, we had safety. Uh, and you know, in the morning of the shoot, we didn't even have insurance because our insurance company dropped out and said, we refuse to give you insurance, which was just petrifying two hours before the stuntman was about to arrive. But we, we found a big insurance company in the end performance uh, media, and they were just superb. They said, yeah, we do this all the time. So actually, I think we are, we're triply insured. Um, but you know, when you've got all the cast crew and everybody there to shoot, and no insurance in the morning, you know, you can't take that risk to go and shoot that scene. And it's, and if you look at the storyboards, it's actually shot for shot, exactly what Dave wanted. So we're right up against the swimming pool, we're fire, we're, we've got prosthetics, we've got everything in there. It's a big safety briefing, um, you know, so I'm really proud of that scene actually. But every time I see the opening scene, the drone shot, shot in 4K over the farce of Dean, you know, with Colin's score, and the initial credits coming up gives me goosebumps every single time.